All right, you guys look smart. Five quick questions. What's your position on God? Don't like him. You don't like him? She's for, I'm against. Really? Yeah. Oh, so she praying for you. That's why you came here. Yeah. Why don't you like him? What, what, he had a bad experience with a pastor? No, uh, he doesn't exist, so uh, that's what. Well, how can you like something that doesn't exist? This guy is funny. What's your name? Uh, Steve. Steve Kale. Pleasure to meet you. Nice What's to meet your you. name? Jill. Jill, pleasure <laughs> to meet you. All right, second question. All right. Is God pleased with your lifestyle? Uh, it's the same thing as asking if Santa Claus is pleased with my lifestyle. Uh -huh. and I mean, I people try to please uh, yeah. Santa Claus so they can get that's good gifts. True. That's true, that's <laughs> true. I would say, uh, Actually, I think most people would say they'd be pleased. Most people like my lifestyle, so I'd say, they like yes. Your life. Yeah, most people want to live my life, so. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'd say, uh, yes, he's pleased. All right. And or then, she. Uh, all right, yeah. then the next question is Is uh, the King James Bible God's word? Do you believe that this is God's word? I hope word? not, because it's, it's got a lot of stuff that's not true in it. Oh, really? <laughs> What's not true in it? Well, uh, that. God created people, right? Or something like that? Uh -huh. Oh, you, know? you believe in evolution, you're saying, as opposed yeah. to creation. Okay. Well, and also, th I'm not, I think it's something like, th according to that, the Earth might only be like 5,000 years old or something? It's like 10,000? Yeah, something obviously like that. that's not true. Well, I wouldn't say that. There's, there's arguments on both sides. There's no, there's one, there's no argument. It's like, is there an argument that the uh, Earth revolves around the sun? I well, think there's not an argument like about that. If you look at the building, you know that there's a builder. Right. You can't say that it just evolved. Right. So we look at creation, we know there's a creator. So, okay. we, you know, that right, could, so that's that's all it's saying. No, that could be true. It's an argument well, for both. No, sides. I could put it this way: uh -huh. you could believe in a god. Uh huh. That is possible, but it's not possible to believe in a god under a modern religion. Because all modern religions, whether it's Christianity, uh -huh. Judaism, uh -huh. Islam, uh, Buddhism, all of those believe in a god that was created. And it, all those religions started what they started like 2,000 to 4,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So all those people have a view of life which is very simple compared to our life. We're much more smarter people now. But all those religions came from a time when people weren't that smart. Uh -huh. uh, you know, that, scientifically that is. Uh -huh. Well, 2,000 years ago, that's not too So far if you believe in a God, you have to believe in a God that created the universe, which was 13.8 billion, 14 billion years ago, whatever it is, it's called 13.8 billion. See, they don't even agree, so, scientists don't even agree on how Yeah, so it. approximately, let's say, it's approximately 13.8 billion plus or minus a billion, that I know for sure. So if it's 13.8 billion, you know sure. were they're, you, were they're, you there? Well, let's put it this way. Was I there when you were born? No. Uh-huh. But you but can I, see me. But, yeah, but I know that you were born anywhere from 35 to 60 years ago. I can say that with relatively certainty. Uh -huh. And I would bet all my money on it. Yeah. yeah. But I never saw when you were well, born. That's because you can see me. You can see the evidence. You see what I'm saying? I actually can see the evidence of things that have happened over 2 million years ago. We've never seen evidence actually, of evolution. What you can do, though, is you can see evidence of the of uh, an existence of over, did you call him up? He's there coming right okay. now. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you can see an existence of something that happened millions of years ago, mm -hmm. but you only see it right now because the way light works and the distance of travel. Uh -huh. So if you have a telescope and you're seeing something coming at your light speed, that thing actually happened millions of years ago. Well, you admit so, that our knowledge is limited. So there's something. Definitely. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That this could be true. So God could, God could exist, but, okay. you, have, but you have to, but, Actually, I can make an argument against it even on this belief, but uh -huh. if you have a belief that God existed, then you have to understand that God created things 13.8 billion years ago. But the modern religions, none of them believe that God created something 13.8 billion no, years ago. No their, belief, their belief is that... Man's the, history has yes, never has even been short. past four, four, about 5,000 Two, years. 200, well, so, so, 100,000 so, years. No, 5,000 yeah. years. Man's well, history oh, yeah, from written, about 5,000 written years. Written history is, yeah, five to, ten, five yeah. to 7,000, that's right. Yeah, so, but, so it, it actually could be true that the, there's, like I said, there's arguments on both no, sides. But what, what was but before man, is, though? God. God was before no, man. Okay. In the beginning, God. No, hold on, let's say, let's say this. Put let's, it this way. I'll give it to you this way. 5,000 years, there's a guy who wrote, wrote something. But before that, there's actually bones. You can go to these natural history museums. Uh -huh. You see bones of people that are 100,000 years old, 200,000 years well, old. Well, that's just carbon dating, and you know that that's not even accurate. Because it dates it's off the carbon that's left in there. It's pretty so good. It's well, good. it's the same thing to say this. Like, she just had a birthday yesterday. Hey, happy so, birthday. My wife's birthday was yesterday. Oh, was it? Cool. Happy so, birthday, you guys. So, you can, <laughs> so she, we know with accuracy that she was born exactly 45 years ago with our system. But... If you carbon uh, data, it may not be because you but, have to. We have to make certain the carbon and the but, atmosphere is the same. No, but twenty, uh, thirty-five uh, years. If you were to carbon, if you actually twenty-one years ago for, for her, for her be good because she, she's still living. So for her, the car, <laughs> for her, the carbon dating would be within about a year or two. Pretty accurate because she's still alive. But even if she, if she died tomorrow, uh -huh. and we waited ten years and then dated her, we could still, given that it's her, she's still fresh, uh -huh. we could guess her year within, guess her. 
date of birth and death within about five years, well, put it which this is way. pretty good. Put it this way. This but what we couldn't do with the bio, uh -huh. this is this is what we know for certain. What we couldn't do, say carbon dating is inaccurate, uh -huh. and so something that's 13.8 billion, you can actually say that was one million years ago. That's absolutely not true. That 13.8 billion. It's not that inaccurate. Yeah, it's not that inaccurate. 13.8 billion versus a million, it's not that off. Oh, there, there have been. There, there's been no, there, there is no science. If you go to any top school, go. I went. To, I have to go to Berkeley, but if you go to MIT, if you go to Stanford, if you go to Caltech, uh -huh. go to UCLA, uh -huh. uh, Chicago, Cornell, Columbia, uh -huh. not one. Oxford, Cambridge, not one single one of those. Uh -huh. and it's not because they all have a conspiracy. Not one scientist from those places will tell you the Earth is less than a million oh, years there's, old. There's a lot of Christian scientists that will that will say that it's a six thousand year period. They will. And they're 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 also kind of loony. Not, they, I wouldn't they, say that. Yeah. I, I, I would say that because they, they, they work hard to, interpretation. They work, yeah, they work hard. That's what no, says arguments on both sides. No, but put it there's this not way. there's not an argument because but, it, but wait, but wait, put it this way. One of those biologists, one of those graduated in biology or engineering. Okay, but put it this way. Uh, they probably didn't because they're crazy. If if if, <laughs> the like Bible, if the Bible is wrong, then we have nothing to worry about. But if your theory is wrong, then you have hell to deal with. That's so are you taking more of a risk than uh, someone no, that believes in Bible? I've heard that argument too, but it's kind of silly saying, well, am I taking a risk in believing that Santa Claus and Easter Bunny don't exist? Uh -huh. Now, from my perspective, from your perspective, that's a silly question. Obviously, oh, no, you're not taking much of a risk because no, you don't have hell to no, deal with. But let's, let's assume, no, that's what I'm saying, but let's assume that it was, it's absolutely necessary to believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. Uh -huh. And Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny came up with a theory, and that if you live your life a certain way, uh -huh. and you d alter from that, uh -huh. that you're in deep and let's say Santa Claus tells family show. Yeah. So okay. Sorry. <laughs> so let's assume that Santa Claus tells me uh -huh. that I must wake up every day at 8 a.m. or before, uh -huh. and I must exercise and I must run. Uh -huh. This is for an example. Uh -huh. Now those two. Now what Santa Claus tells me to do is actually very smart. Uh -huh. Exercise and eating healthy. I should be doing that. That's what this exactly. Is. Everything he says is very smart. Exactly. So. You should actually, never cheat on your, actually, your spouse. I, like she, she believes in God. Also, my, my previous girlfriend, she actually played the piano in, in uh -huh. church. So, do you, I'm not a, do you believe that you so, should cheat on your spouse? No, I don't. Well, the Bible but, says uh, that's a pretty yeah. smart man. You exactly. agree with God. So, you, <laughs> and I've, been, I've been to church, and, and like you, because you seem like a very nice guy. Like I'm, since I'm not uh -huh. religious people, especially as serious as you, uh -huh. tend to be very good people. Oh, good. I'm sorry. And me. also help a lot, because like they help, they helped a lot. Yeah. But uh, it's a lot of good in this. But that's why it says this that's is true. good news. But, but what what is one bad thing that happened? Especially to, if you were if you were in this country about 150 years ago, what would happen to you? Me? You would be in deep because you're black. You would have been enslaved. Well, that's not in the Bible, though. See, the Bible does not talk about slave slavery for. But it does tell you what ha what happens to your slave. What if that, that's, that's man? See. But that, isn't there the thing? The Bible doesn't talk about but, slavery for man. Actually, God saved his people from slavery. Remember but, Israel? But what about they were the, enslaved in Egypt? But it, I think it's in the Old Testament where it tells you how you can treat your slave. He was, it was a bond servant, not a slave. So a bond servant is someone that agrees to be part of your. your so your, so you don't think it's barbaric to have. Those are servants. You have employees that work for you, right? right? If you want your but that, business, but that they're, they're called servants. Right, but that employee, servants. that employee has a total, even though it's everybody... It's an agreement. But every employee has, would have an ability to leave their employer, even though you don't want to. Like, she could leave her employer, well, but she wouldn't... It's part of an do. agreement. If someone were to leave, you can sue them. If, if they leave uh, on, on bad terms. So, so the Old Testament doesn't have something that says... No, not for slaves. If you... It does not, slave is actually, yeah, pull it up on, on your... Slave is actually quick, only quick. used, I think, three times in the Bible, and it's not talking it's something about... about uh, like, if you don't kill your slave, then it's okay. I think it was something like that. Okay, look it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. That's, uh, not in the King. That's why I say the King James Bible. Oh, yeah. See, the King James Bible... Yeah, these different translations go away wonder. from. Exactly. <laughs> that's why I say the King James. Not in the King... In the King James Bible, the word oh, is slave. Is that New Testament only? That's no, no, it's new, both old and new. Because, but that's the problem is that if it's his word and there's some things that are very clear. It's very clear. See, the Old Testament. Where did they say they were? They still. Yeah, go ahead and we'll pull it up. I would love to look at it. Were they talking for you? What was the question? No, we're, about where's a bond it? servant, oh, kill your bond servant. <laughs> old Testament. Well, while you're looking that up, I at least like to say my point. Basically, and, and you probably heard this, is that we believe that you have to believe, not live for God, but believe that Jesus go. died for your sins. Slavery, what the Old Testament says about slavery. Yeah, and so slavery it's your belief. So when you say you do not believe, that's why you qualify that's for that's slave, hell. Slavery was an important facet of life in the biblical times. So let's take a look at it. 
Slavery in the Old Testament was very different in Volver. Let's see, let's get to it. Slavery is rampant throughout the Bible. Let's, oh, and the New Testament. So let's take a look. Yeah. Let's, maybe we'll get something from the New Testament. How did you guys get on slaves? How did people, I miss this? <laughs> he was it, trying to put, make a point with... Uh, except for... Uh, Thank you guys for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let me read, this is go to Leviticus 20, 25. Okay. Leviticus 25 colon 44, 46. He said colon. Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25. Okay. Leviticus 25. Uh -huh. 44 to 46. Okay. Let's read it. I'm glad we're able to read the Bible, man. I, li I like you. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing against you. I, have, I do have something against God. I have nothing against you. You're a good guy. So. What's this? Say? Both so thy bond men. Let me see. Her. We didn't say slave, right? Her, and thy purchase. bond maids. These are indentured servants. These are greet. These are agreements. Both that. Yeah, you can read it. It's just different version. What version do you have? Yes. I have the King this James, which has been around for 400 plus years. Oh, so it's not. It's oh, not the one from. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Uh huh. That's right. So. so let, yeah. me, let me read it real quick. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, 20, you said 44? 44. Yeah. Both my bonus bonus. Shall be heathen or not around you. The children of strangers. That do. Here we go. Uh -huh. The children of the strangers that do among you buy and their families are with you, which will be got to your land, they shall be your possession. So here, so these people can be your possessions. Well, whenever, so, whenever you win so if a you war, have kids, so your kids, if whenever you win a war, you, whenever you win a war, you take over possession yeah. of that so, land and the people. So, so, so if, if I win a war, uh -huh. and I can take your kids, and now they're going to be mine because according to this, yeah, well, that's what mine. happens when someone so, wins so a war. So people are property. That's terrible. That's no, barbaric. that's what happens. That's what happens when that's you barbaric. win a war. People, that's what continue. happens when you win a war. That's not barbaric. That's part of war. You shall take them inheritance. <laughs> so I get, I get to inherit them also. Their kids. Yeah. Well, I'm in forever. Because God promised him that land, and so. You shall not rule over one with. You shall not rule one over another with rigor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You shouldn't rule with rigor. So God is against slavery. You don't rule with rigor. But you're supposed to treat them. But this with one, love and kindness. This one here, but you can possess people. I can own you guys. That's not good. No, you can't. You would have to That's win in a war. Not, yeah. Okay, so we fight, we fight a we fight a war. Uh huh. Let's if fight. you win, then then that's the. So somebody's gonna win or lose. If you and I fight a war. One of us is going to win or lose. Let's That's say, why you fight a war. Okay, so let's yeah. fight to the death. So right. So this, yeah, you either die or be a bond servant. So That's this thing, war. So this right here. So oh, this one. <laughs> so one okay. So let's, so, let's, so let's do this. Uh -huh. Let's say I'm evil because I don't believe in God, which I don't. Okay. So I'm going to fight you. Uh -huh. And let's say there's a good chance you kill me, which is fine. So you'd rather die or be a no, bond servant? I don't want to be. A, so let's say you and I fight to death because uh -huh. at least in that passage, it's not for or not against. Uh -huh. So we're going to fight to the death. One uh -huh. So I'm pissed. I'm gonna kill somebody. Uh -huh. I lose. You kill me. Uh -huh. So now you possess her. Now you own her, uh -huh. and you own the kids, and you own their kids. So that, how, that means you, uh, I'm responsible to take care so of them. How, how, does it how say, barbaric is that? It's not barbaric that because it tells them. People. It tells them not to rule with rigor. You're supposed to treat them in love. I'm okay. responsible because I've killed you, so I got to take care of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a cultural thing in the Old Testament. God tried to protect His people in the Old Testament. Yeah, that's true. And, and so some of these things don't apply to today okay yeah it's not true. barbaric it was bar it was totally barbaric back then yeah. okay yeah, so you're exactly. trying to you're trying to look back and select passages no, I, no, I agree with you that's the whole, a cultural that, thing that's actually okay? the whole point of this the word of is god that, is relevant today the new testament is for is for people who are redeemed okay Amen. there's a difference between the old testament which was the old okay. jewish covenant then that's uh -huh. fine okay, okay. Then if you believe that which is okay then that should not be a holy bible thing that should not be part no, of that shouldn't be part of god's understand the you new testament that. is the result of the Old Testament. Yeah. The Old Testament points to the New Testament. Amen. The Jewish people believe the Old Testament. They're under a law. Uh -huh. They believe they need to have special works. Uh -huh. Okay. The New Testament says the law has been fulfilled by, by Jesus who? Christ. By Jesus Christ. Amen. He came and fulfilled the law. Amen. He was Jewish, the line all the way back to and David, and, and he sacrificed himself, God's Son, Amen. God Himself, Amen. became man in flesh. So there won't be any bad things in the New Testament. There, there are bad things if you don't. Don't accept Jesus. No, but I'm just talking. If I read the New Testament, 
Yes, no, the bad no, things listen, for, listen. for those that don't receive Jesus. Listen, we live in a fallen world, okay? Amen. There's bad things that are going to happen. Of course. Happen. There's human beings. I don't, yeah, that, okay. We know that. Yeah. I think anybody that has a half a brain yeah. knows things happen of that course. are bad. We don't have a perfect right. world. But that should be, when you when you believe in the Savior, it doesn't mean you're going to have a perfect life. No. Right. Okay? But it does mean you will live forever. You have an eternal life. And it life. does tell us that all okay. things that so work life, together for the good of those who love the Lord. Compared to eternity is nothing. No, I, I would agree with you on that. Enjoy it here. Our life is a but of Paper. So then, well, so good stuff. Good stuff. What's your name? I'm Paul. I'm Paul? sorry. I don't want to be recorded. Though, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the video production business. So I Are you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Me too. Okay. I will get your card. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's do. Let's say this then. Uh, I can't find something. I have to be with these guys about five minutes or less. I'll just. Okay. Let's cut to something different. Yeah. So, uh, it, like I said, you also appear to be a good person, and a lot of the people in the Western world I meet in the modern times are very good, but. Given that, then why would it be that somebody who's theoretically more religious than the two of you, which would be a, a priest, is that what the is that what the Catholic Church is a priest? That's religion. Yeah, that's, that's religion. Religion okay. doesn't save you. Okay. No, but so why would those priests who who have such a, a serious? You might be a, a, a pastor yourself because you're probably doing this. So you're probably one of these churches. I'm a preacher. Not okay, a preacher. Okay, preacher. Uh -huh. So you're into it. So why would somebody who has such a commitment as you have sex with children? How barbaric and terrible is that? I not you. No, I know you would. But there's a ton, there's a ton of people in the Catholic Church who would. Not a they're, ton of because they're still human billion. beings. They still have it. They still have. They're but not. That, but that's one of the most barbaric things a human being Absolutely. can do. Absolutely. That's. Yeah. I mean, somebody no one, who's no somebody one, who has no. no, no arguing that I have. Point. I have no. So you have a more. You have a more. If I ask him a quick question. Uh, so yeah. I, I do. I believe yeah. in God yeah. not at all. But there's no way in hell. Listen, I, I would not even touch a kid like that. Can I tell you something? Coming from a former atheist, can I tell you something a little bit? Let me ask you something. That's barbaric. Can I record this? The Ten Commandments. Do you believe that there's... Generally God? speaking, yes. Uh, generally speaking? Okay, yeah. okay. Do I, I, don't believe, know the, I don't know the details, but I say yes. Do you like, believe you've kept every one of those Ten Commandments? Definitely haven't killed anybody. De okay. Uh, okay. I have lied before. So there's one. Uh, I'm not married, but I, I've had, had... You've had sex I, before marriage? Yes. Two? I don't know if that's the commandment, but... Uh, uh, have you had, but, but, have you had sex but, outside of marriage? Adultery. Yes. Uh, adultery? Yeah, okay. Two. No, but I haven't had sex with a married person, or I haven't had... But I've had a girlfriend, I haven't had sex with somebody else. Okay, have you ever stolen anything? As a kid, but not as an adult. Downloaded. Okay, as a kid, okay, yeah. stolen. So there's well, under 18. I have because I stole, right, stole so pencils. Right now we got three for sure. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. exactly. So in, in God's law, it says if you break any one of those commandments, you cannot have eternal life. Do you realize that? So that's bad news. That's bad news. Yeah. That is bad but news. But the good so, news is, <laughs> so, you know so what happens <laughs> when you don't have eternal life? Do you know where you go? Hell, I would guess if, according to you guys. Well, it, well, there is no other option. Yeah. There is no either heaven or hell. Okay. So that means so that, according to the Bible, not yeah. according to me. Yeah. According to the Bible, that is the law. Okay. That is the Jewish law. Okay? Right. What happened is good news. Okay. Jesus came yeah. and paid the price for your sin, so that you are made perfect in His image. You don't have to do anything. Listen. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. You don't have to try to be good because yeah. you can't. I can't be good. Okay, I'm going to tell you right, right. now. I'm a sinner too. Yes. I'm not above anybody right. else. Okay, but I do believe that Jesus Christ came and He paid the price for my eternal salvation. So imagine you go to court, okay, yeah. and you're sitting before the judge. Yeah. And we will all be judged one day. You sit before the judge, and he's going to ask you. He's going to talk about your whole life. He's going to talk about these things and probably things much worse than he's going to pull out. You're going to say. You're right. I don't deserve. Right. I'm not perfect. Almost, okay. Almost like yeah. You know he's gonna say, I know you're not perfect, but my son is, yeah. and he paid okay. your price. So, so that's like a lawyer so saying, I paid the okay, price. Okay. So, so step back. Oh, this last thing, I really got to. Sure, I'm not. But well, let me ask a quick question then. So, let's assume there's a religious. Let's assume there's you're the religious. And I'm not religious. But the three of us, I'm the non-religious. You two are religious. Just an example. This is probably not true. But let's use an example. Now let's say that my whole life I, le I led better than the two of you. We all had it imperfect. Sure. But this obviously is not true, but let's just assume it. Mm -hmm. I led the much better life imperfect than the two of you. That's right. Now we go before God. Because I led a better life, let's say I was poor, I donated to help more people. Just theoretical. Sure. Was, uh, I did all, all, if you looked objectively, I did much better. Doesn't matter. The, the only difference is I didn't believe in him. He's not judging that stuff. It works. works. And that's the key it's difference. The now the three of us come to him. Yep. Now, what kind of God would see that person? Let's, let's assume I'm like Mother Teresa. Let's use her as a, Let's say I'm Mother Teresa, except I don't believe in I actually have no belief in God. I'm Father Teresa. I have no belief in God whatsoever. I'm helping everybody. I go to the worst AIDS infested place in the world. I help every person I could possibly help sure. that nobody would touch, even the most religious. 
Except I absolutely do not believe in God, and then everybody else comes in, okay. and God says, no, you're out. But then if you want to be that that God is completely irrational. That, is that a God you want to believe in? Yes, <laughs> because it's his terms. It's not. It's, then, yeah, if, that's, exactly. if that's the God you want to listen, believe in, that's a bad God to believe in. That's a terrible God to believe in. I don't have one. So see, that's, there's well, you, something you're your own God. <laughs> you don't have a God. You make a God. You make no, you your own God. I don't make one, actually. But um, you make your own rules. Imagine, okay. No, I don't make my rules. Just, just that's also bad because like, I would never... Just for, just for fun. Yeah. Imagine there is a God. Okay. okay. Just for fun. Just play with no, us There could be, yeah. Okay. And the Bible points exactly. him out. No, okay. no, now listen, listen. I'm, I'm your would, it, would it be... I'm so okay. sorry to interrupt, but I have very little time. This is great. This is, this I appreciate this is the last it. Thank you for you. This is the last point. Let me tell you, I was an atheist too. All you have to do is tell you atheist. one thing. Yeah. When you're, no, when you're in, I was oh, agnostic, no. then I became atheist. I said, when you die, there's nothing left. Okay. Who cares? I'll give you that it's point. It's just fear of death. But let me tell you something. I'll okay. give you this though. That's all you need to do. Well, let me give you this. All right. If there is a God, yeah. if then that God would not be so irrational to say that some, which is not me, but would not I be so would not be so irrational to say somebody lived an excellent life that helped everybody mm -hmm. should should go to hell and all these sinners should be with him because of, just because they said I believe you in God. You realize that if you just sinners. lie, you have committed the same sin as Hitler did when he killed six million Jews. Yeah, exactly. There but, is no, there is, God doesn't measure the but amount if you, of sin. That's, that's also another problem. All falls yeah. short. That's, that's another problem. If, if, if there isn't, if there the isn't a measurement, one. then that's a complete irrationality. Agreed. That a, that a God that can be that irrational is one that I would rather go to hell than to see that God. Well, but, if there's a, but if there's a rational, smart, fair God, then, Hell is not a then, place you want to go to. But if there is if there is a fair God, then I would be much happier saying I'm not even close to the best, but I'm not nowhere damn near the end of the worst. Okay. And I'll wherever I am in that ranking, and then there's a cutoff, I'll be happy with it. On your then, terms. It, no, not my terms, but it, there would be a rational ranking that it, if, the, you, but if who, the three of us. The term is irrational. God would, because God would be more rational. If there was a God, then God would be more rational than the three of us. Right. And so he'd have the most rational So he makes, being. The, he makes the decision. And it, and it would be the most rational side. thing that if, if you just pulled out a gun and shot me right now, then you would be much worse than the two of us. And if God that's let's by your judgment, yeah, exactly. No, no it'd be by rational. But then if God said, "Oh, but if you believe in me, he makes his terms. He makes his terms. He makes his terms. It was a good talk. I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, Muslims would say something else a little different. Yeah, but there was a pleasure. Appreciate you coming. I don't want to get inside. I just heard you. No, good stuff, man. I appreciate it. So you said you do a video production as well. All right. Well, we're probably about to wrap it up. We've been out here for a while. They're getting hungry. Where car you go? He's running around. We'll see you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure, man. Hey, let's stay in touch. All right. You guys are ready? Uh, no, we're just brother. Doing, are you just checking it out? Homeless outreach out here. We're just seeing. What oh, we're do doing. you? Yeah. Awesome. And cool. Do, uh, Kale. A Bible reading at the shelter. Awesome. Every Kale. Thursday. Awesome. So you guys are Christians? Oh, yeah, of course. Amen. Okay. Well, I don't know. You gonna ask? Yeah. Uh, what you doing? Well, what, we, we, we film these because we like to share it on our website. It's called Christians on Demand. Oh, okay. And so we encourage other Christians to do this because we're supposed to preach the gospel, right? Yeah. And that's how people are going to hear the gospel, by Christians sharing the love of God. Jesus, and that's what we do. Only if Jesus had the internet back in the day, huh? <laughs> that's right. That's why the disciples had to go out. But now you got the internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, good meeting you guys. Uh, you, All right. Let's go ahead and break it down. Good stuff. Usually I would say no, but I really think. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Car. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and shut it down. Oh, you want me to close it out? Oh, okay, sorry. Well, we had a good day today, some great conversations. Uh, we're here at Laguna Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, uh, in God's grace, amen. <laughs>